What happens when it's time to get off of your cycle? Some people don't ever experience this because they don't ever get off their cycle. <laughs> I have friends that have said, Rich, you know, I've only done one cycle in my entire life, bro. Just one, one cycle. But it's lasted 15 years. <laughs> you know? Now that's not the correct way to go about it. That's not the correct way to do it. Um, you need to cycle on, you need to cycle off. You need to give your body a break. You need to let your body recover. You need to do things right. Um, the right way is the safest way. If you choose this road, you need to do things right. And cycling on and cycling off is the right way to go about it. You know, a lot of people look at me and they're like, there's no way that guy goes off. You know, look at him. He's always in shape. He always looks that way. No, I do go off. You know, I stay on about three months and then I will take off somewhere between one month and three months. And in the 25 years I've been cycling, the longest I've been off is six months. And again, I'm just telling you straight up the truth. You know, there's a lot of people out there that would say, oh yeah, yeah I've taken years off and uh, yeah, right, whatever. I'm, I'm here to tell you the truth. I'm here to tell you how it is. I'm here to tell you what I do. And more times than not, I usually take one month off, not three. And basically what I go about is what's going on in my life. I have to be at this expo, I have to do this photo shoot, you know, this, this, that, you know, Whatever has happened in my life is how I base my off time. I tore my patella tendon. Well, that's a pretty good time to take some time off. So I took four months off, you know, as I'm laying in bed, not training. So that obviously makes a logical sense to take a break. Now, I wanna talk about what happens when you get off. Um, let's call myself average back in the day. When I went on a cycle, I turned into Superman. Right? I went from an average guy to Superman. Now who the hell doesn't want to be a superhero? That's pretty much the way I saw it. And uh, when I got off my cycle, I didn't go back to an average guy. I went back below an average guy. I went down to a fairly weak guy. And the reason being is because when you take testosterone, your testosterone levels are off the chart. So you might have the testosterone, depending on how much you take, 10 times the amount of a normal guy. So if I'm walking around with 10 times the testosterone of a normal guy, just imagine, you know, imagine what's happening. And when I go off the testosterone, I don't go back down to normal where I was. I go back down below what I was. The reason being is because my natural testosterone levels shut down completely and stopped working. So when I stopped putting synthetic in, my balls aren't working anymore. So I have no testosterone. So my dick is not gonna get hard. You know, and this is the honest to God truth. Now, as you go through life and you learn, nowadays you just go on the internet and Google and you find out and you get it and you, you know what you're doing back then, there, we didn't have internet, so I didn't know what I was doing. I was like, what the hell's going on? So basically there's ways when you get off a cycle, you can take HCG and Clomid and you can bring your natural testosterone levels back up and even beyond what they normally are. And you will not have any problems whatsoever. Uh, the problem is most people I would say 90% don't take enough HCG, not even close to enough. The amount that people take is about probably one-tenth what needs to be taken in order to get the results of continuing to get results while you're off your cycle and also continuing to have a sex drive that's out of this world. And once I get used to being Superman in the bedroom, I want to stay Superman. I ain't going back, you know? I'm. I'm Superman, I'm gonna stay Superman. And, um, you know, that's the hard thing. That's why people don't get off the drugs because they don't wanna go back to normal or even below normal. You know, they wanna stay the superhero. I mean, if I was Superman and Clark Kent, shit, I would never go back to Clark Kent. Who wants to be Clark Kent? I'd be Superman 24 hours a day flying around. 